Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you guys can tell by my voice, I am still recovering from um, just momsar. It's momsar. It's just like my body is exhausted and on top of that, I caught a cold. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's all that like traveling. Well, not much traveling, but traveling, moving, and just um, just kind of like a, things changing in my life. So I think it just caught up to me. So I was sick yesterday. Yesterday which was my birthday, <laughs> I didn't do anything um, because I wanted to be up today and be able to film again. I'm still a bit, like I'm recovering. So uh, I think I'll be okay to film today. And I didn't want to keep you guys keep reading from um, another fun mukbang with the fun ingredient. Um, this week's ingredient is mayo or mayonnaise. Um, not too long ago, I discovered this thing called wasabi mayo, and I have been hooked. Even though it's kind of like painful, it like I don't know something about it keeps me wanting to have it more. Is that weird? But before I start, thank you guys so much for all the comments and letting me know what you guys crave, and I have fun reading all of them. So the winner for this week, or I guess last week, I don't even know, um, is Melissa Davis. I crave salty food. My go-to is pretzels and hummus and any crunchy veggie or any crunchy veggie and hummus. Not a big sweet fan here. And actually, that's what I heard before. You either crave salty or sweet. Like, you don't crave both. I'm definitely a sweet person. I love sweet things more than, like, chips or, like, salty stuff. But anyways, Melissa Davis, congratulations. You won the uh, Kimmy Wooden Spoon for this week. So, Kimmy Wooden Spoon... Uh, giveaway will continue and I will let you guys know but for next time I think I'm gonna ask you guys, ask you guys to tell me where you guys are from just because I've been having trouble with this um, couple people that's outside of US so international giveaways they, it's some of them didn't receive it yet and I, I swear I sent it to them a while ago uh, as soon as I picked them and got into contact with them I sent it to them but I, was, I think there's a higher chance of them being getting lost in the way um, so I might have to resend it or, um, I might not be able to do international anymore, uh, after Melissa, I don't, I don't know where she's from yet, but, um, yeah, I might not, I might not be able to do international anymore just because it just, it might, there's a really high chance of it getting, um, lost in the way and I probably can't, can't find a tracking of it. I don't, I don't even know, but anyways, uh, we'll talk about it more later, but this week's ingredient is mayonnaise. Um, today I'll be using regular mayonnaise and the wasabi mayo. And as you guys can already tell, I the main ingredient is mussels and I'm going to make dynamite mussels. Um, actually, I didn't know that it's called dynamite mussels because my mom made it for me a long, long time ago and I was hooked. I loved it so much. And I recently found out that these are called dynamite mussels and they sell, them, they sell it in some of the sushi or Asian restaurants, which I never saw before. I personally never ordered them myself, but only time I had it was my mom. And I'm just going to show you guys a simple way to enjoy this dish. And on the side, I'm going to make some udon with fish cakes. Ooh. Soup is soup and something spicy and soup is the best thing to eat when you're sick. Well, for me at least. Anyways, let's start cooking. So in this, so I am going to make maybe third wasabi mayo. Okay, I'm going to do half and half. Okay. So, you're gonna need some regular mayo, wasabi mayo, and some sriracha, some soy sauce. I have some uh, flying fish egg. This is tobiko, black tobiko. And I have smelt roll, sweet fish roll. I thought it was smelt roll. I don't know, sweet fish roll. This is masago. So, this is going to go in with the regular, and this is gonna go with the wasabi mayo. So in a bowl, let's move this forward a little bit. Oh, I love, I think I'll use a lot of it. Add some mayo. Okay, and I'm going to add just a little bit of soy sauce. You don't really need much. Just, just for like the taste. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Maybe like a um, half spoonful. And let's get lots and lots of sriracha. And this is all to your preference. If you want it spicy, add a lot. If you don't want it spicy, just add a little bit of it. 
and just mix them together. Ah! Oh! Okay, so mix them gently. Mmm, that's perfect. <laughs> you can't really go wrong with this recipe. And then you're just gonna top them on each muscles. You don't have to be really precise with it the, because they're gonna actually spill over as they bake. So, just... Yeah, you can be pretty. You can be pretty sloppy with it because when you bake, they're gonna end up the same. Now it's time for tobacco, black tobacco. I know this might look a little scary to some people, but they are pretty good. Okay, get another bowl, a clean bowl, and clean spoon. Let's get another like. Ooh, oh my goodness, these are like. Okay, so we got some here, and I'm going to add a little bit of, so I'm going to mix, I don't want too much, okay, that much, and then I'm going to add rest with regular mayo, because um, the wasabi mayo is actually pretty strong, you taste the wasabi a lot, so... Ooh, this looks very interesting. Okay, so it looks like that. This one's a bit thicker because I didn't add sriracha or anything. So, let's try this. So I'm gonna toss them in the oven. And like four, 470, 470 to 500 degrees. Um, just keep your eye on it until they seem like they are a little golden. Or like not burnt, but you know, like they're cooked. Okay, <clears throat> but by the way, today's drink is this aloe vera, the kiwi flavor. Have you ever heard of that? They, I also got the pomegranate flavor, which I would try. Try this. I think I tried it yesterday, but I don't remember because I was sick. Yeah, I don't really, really taste the kiwi. It's like think of it as like if you have if you tried the aloe vera before, just think of it as a like a little bit stronger, more flavorful, but you don't really taste the kiwi. I got this clay pot uh, from TJ Maxx the other day, and I am in love with this. So cute, right? It's like perfect size. The shallowness is perfect. So the thing about clay pots are that you have to wet it on the bottom and you have to start from the low heat and then move on to a higher heat or else I'm pretty sure it'll crack. I don't know. Other than that, it's a really cute pot but it's just you, you just gotta take care of it really well. So anyways, but this actually might take a long time. Like, But I, I insist to use this pot. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this udang. I don't know how to say it. I know that in English it's udon, but Korean is udon. Okay, I'm gonna just add the sauce. Let me. These udons are like the cheaper kinds, but they actually taste uh, not the best, but they actually taste pretty good for the price. And then I have some fish cake variety pack. Okay, I'm gonna add just a couple. It's not so variety of it, it's just... Ooh, and it does come with the soup pack, but I don't think I need it. Okay, how much more? Um, I have the noodles. Okay, I'm going to add some pepper flakes. And as you guys can see, this is ready to eat. They seem pretty well done. I mean, if you guys want, you could even torch it. 
to get the color. That's what I wanted, but... Okay, so we have a lot of things to talk about because I had a pretty weird week. Now, again, I, like I said, I think I the just whole busy days cut off to me. So I just took a long break yesterday, which I think I needed, you know? So it was good that I got sick in a way because I just slept in, slept, slept all day. <clears throat> and my dog was cooperating with me. He was sleeping all day too. So I'm like, oh my God, this is the best dog ever. Let's try. I actually want to try this one. It's the black Tobiko and wasabi mayo. Ooh, okay, so these are kind of hard to eat. So just eat at your own risk. Mmm. Mmm. That wasabi mayo never fails me. Mm. Ah. It has a. It's a good thing that I added extra regular mayo because it still has a little wasabi like hit to it, but not that much. Like I can handle it. Okay, let's try the regular one. I gotta eat hundreds of these. These are so good. Mm. I'm gonna lower this. <clears throat> so let's talk about this apartment. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm gonna have problems with every apartment go I go to, so I need to buy my own house. But this apartment is actually honestly the best out of all the apartments I lived in. But, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys, uh, if I t ever talked about this, but in my previous apartment, myself and my, like, other people that live in the apartment had a problem of, had a huge problem with this because, so we have a main entrance and a back door, and they recommend us, or recommend, or they're forcing us to use the back door whenever we're walking our dogs. So there is a, the elevator opens in the front way and the back way, and they want you to use the back door and the back entrance to the I understand. You know, I get it. Like, they don't want us to stay around with their dog in the main lobby. I understand. So we started using the back door. They gave us the keys. But it was so incon inconvenient because the front entrance, we could use our code and the, the door main door um, unlocks and we can just go through it without having any of our keys. And especially our unit, we don't need a key. We used to have a code. So you can literally go out and come home without worrying about, oh, do I have my keys or whatnot. So it was inc inconvenient here and there because we always had to bring our keys around whenever we're walking our dog for five minutes, you know, stuff like that. So it's, it wasn't only me. Everybody kind of had an issue with that, but it was the policy, so we had to follow it. And when I was looking into this apartment, I specifically asked the guy who was showing me around, hey, is there any specific rule with the dogs? Like, oh, do I have to take my dog in and out in a certain like entrance? He's like, no, I don't think so. I'm like, are you sure? You know, like, because... My other apartment, I specifically told them in my other apartment, I have to use a back door and it's inc inconvenient for me. And he's like, no, you can like, like, we don't have that here. I'm like, okay. And literally, 
so ever since I moved here, I've been using the front door, back door, whatever, whatever was more, more easier for me. And literally yesterday, we see this post on every door, not just our building, like all like the village buildings, that, oh, just a friendly reminder that you you can't walk your dog through the main entrance. I'm like, what the hell? I specifically asked this to, I asked the guy so specifically, but I get this letter. Well, it's not just me, it's like everyone, I guess, because everybody uses the front door too, like, Oh, it's a friendly reminder that you can't use the front entrance. You have to use the back. But it doesn't make sense for this apartment just because the elevator only opens in one way. Like, at least the other apartment, there was a front entrance and the back entrance for the elevator. But this one, you're going to end up in the same place. You can't even use... There is no other way to get into the elevator. So, in the end, everyone's going to be in the same lobby with their dogs if they want us or not. So, I don't understand why we can't use the front door. You know what I mean? I don't know if you, you understand what I'm trying to say. But, you know, whatever, I, this apartment is honestly the best out of all the places I lived in, so I'm not going to complain about that. I thought about emailing that guy. I'm like, you know, I asked you specifically, and you told me there's no rule, like, any rules about that. But, you know, I'm just like, you know what? Like, I really like this place, and everything else is really good so far. So, and it's really not a big, pro- big of a problem. Just because I live on the third floor. Well, it's third floor, but it's actually second floor. And I've been trying to use the stairs with Amit. <clears throat> so, I don't want to really complain about it because either way, I'm not really using the entrance anyway. But I'm kind of upset that when I specifically asked, and he told me there are no rules about it. Like, what do I see? Like, literally two weeks after I lived here. Oh no, no. Mm. So good. This is so good. Honestly, other than that, everybody's so nice here.
I think I like the wasabi one better because it has a kick. Oh, I really want to show this to you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it at all, but um, Tom drew this. Well, he said he, I thought he freehanded it, but he actually copied a little, like traced it a little, but still, isn't it so good? I mean, the coloring didn't come out as vibrant as he wanted it to be, so we might actually fix it because it's a good drawing. The reason why he drew that is because there's this one artist that does something similar, but his is more professional, you know? He knew I really wanted it, um, so he actually drew one for me. He woke me up in the middle of uh, at midnight, like right when it's my, it turned my birthday. He um, showed it to me. I was actually really shocked. I'm like, I can't believe you drew that, you know? And if you guys follow me on Instagram story, he actually got me the, um, the what is it? LG monitor. It's a wide monitor. It's super wide. And because, you know, it's easier for me to edit. So he got that for me. Like, me, more than that, I mean, I was pretty shocked that he even got me that. But I was more shocked that he, when he showed me that. The monitor is huge. So I'm kind of excited to edit on it now. Went for his birthday. I really wanted to vlog, and I actually started to vlog, but I realized that I didn't have that much time, and I didn't have time to vlog. I was on my feet and hands, and I was just flying around everywhere trying to get everything done. More than anything else. You know, I made him a pizza cake. That's like my traditional, my tradition for his birthday. I made him a pizza cake. <clears throat> and that took a long time. But yeah, anybody, anyone who's, who had the uh, same birthday as me, June 1st, happy birthday. Happy birthday to everyone. <laughs> If your birthday is today, happy birthday to you. So yesterday, although I just, literally all I did yesterday was stay in bed. I didn't do anything. But I couldn't ask for more. I was so happy that I was getting some good rest. You know, Tong brought me some dinner. My roommate got me a book. It's called... He got me this effortless bento book. Oh my gosh. I was actually really happy to get that because I've been looking at it on Amazon. He got it for me. I was like, wow. He actually got me a present. <laughs> so, I was very thankful. Oh, but another thing. My family forgot my birthday. Well, so I thought. Actually, my mom, um, so, okay, yesterday, you know, I was really sick. 
And usually my family texts me, like, in the morning, like, Happy birthday, blah, 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 blah. They send me these cute emojis and, like, photos. None of that. I get it from everybody else except for my family. You know, the one that you care the most. So I was like, hmm, okay, I see you. And I've been just waiting and waiting. They didn't send me anything. I told Tong, like, hey, Tong, they haven't said happy birthday to me. They forgot. And I'm not going to say anything until the next day. And I'm going to get, like, best. I'm going to tell them to give me the best birthday present ever. And it's not like they owe me anything, but you know what I mean? I was, like, kind of half kidding. And I, part of me, I kind of understood. I was sad, but part of me, I, I kind of understood. Like, my sister recently started a new job. Um, my dad's busy. My mom's busy. Um, my mom, especially just because my aunt from Korea came. And so she's been busy taking taking her everywhere, you know, all that, spending time with her. So I kind of understood, but part of me, I'm just like, wow. Still, like, they couldn't even, te- like, they didn't have time to send me a happy birthday text. And on top of that, I was six. And part of it, I was, like, upset. Part of me, I was just like, you know what, I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm gonna just sleep. So during dinner time, Tong brought me dinner. And then, look who calls me. My mom. I was looking at Tom. I'm like, oh my god, Tom, what should I say? What should I say? How should I, uh, you know, I'm not, I was trying to do this guilt trip on her. But I picked up the phone. And as soon as I hear her voice, I started crying. And <clears throat> Tom was like, oh. And I, Tom didn't realize that I was going to cry. He said, like, oh, she's going to cry. Ha, ha. And then I started crying more. Because when you're about to cry, someone says, oh, don't cry. No, are you crying? You cry more. And I started crying. And then I hand over the phone to... um. Tong and Tong was talking to her. I was like trying to like not cry, and Tong was telling her that yeah, I think she just like kind of sick and like she felt like you know like when you're sick and you when you hear someone like you love, um their voice or whatnot, you just kind of cry more because like that's just how you feel. You're very sensitive and full of emotions when you're sick. So Tong was talking to her for a little bit and then. I took the phone, and I was like, you forgot my birthday? She's like, no, I didn't. I remember the first thing I woke up. How could I forget? Like, I'm your mom. And she basically said, I've been just so busy because of your aunt, so I just didn't have time to call, whatever. But I think your dad and your sister did forget, though. <laughs> I'm like, I think they did. <laughs> and later, uh, we, we have a family group chat, and she's like, is it, like, happy birthday? And then my dad, sex, uh, my dad says, oh, yeah, like, oh. Like, I, you know, I'm busy. I kind of forgot. I'm sorry. Like, happy birthday. And I know my sister forgot, too. She's like, ha, ha, ha. I'll bring you a present. Like, whatever. Oh, I'm getting full, guys. Is that weird? I'm so full. Fast now. Oh, these muscles are so freaking hard to eat. Like, I love you muscles, but... I literally just used, like, the whole bag of baby wipes. (sighs) So good. But, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry. I was all over the place in this video. Forgive me. I'm like almost recovered. So by tomorrow, I'm going to be a lot more brighter, happier, and more um, aware of what I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are excited for the Mayo series. There will be two more videos. I don't know if, I don't know, um, if I'm able to film on consecutive days. But I hope you guys are excited for this. And there will be another spoon giveaway, but um, but anyways, Melissa Davis, uh, Melissa Davis, contact me if you see this video. Uh, I have to send you the spoon giveaway, but I think after this one, yeah, I thought about it. I don't think I'm gonna do the international giveaway anymore. Just too complicated at my uh, ability of right now. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry to say that. Sorry. Uh, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more a- ASMR videos, check out my other channel. Check out Tong Digi's channel. He's been uploading more frequently. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video with another Mayo series. Thanks for watching. Bye.